What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre video. Yesterday on Friday the 13th, IGN shared a new trailer for the game that showed side-by-side -side comparisons of the game to the original 1974 film. And honestly, I was absolutely blown away by this video. Now, before I say anything else, take a look at that trailer. Like I said, blown away. I mean, the attention to detail here is incredible. And on my phone, where I first watched the video, I couldn't even tell that that was actual game footage. Now, despite your feelings on Friday the 13th, the game, the one thing we can all agree on is the insane attention to detail that's in the game. And it certainly looks like Gun has done it again and are putting in a ton of effort to accurately capture the look and feel of the original film. Now, of course, this trailer, it may not be a gameplay trailer, but we're getting a little bit closer. We're seeing a little bit more inside of the slaughterhouse. So I think that gameplay trailer is probably not too far away. But in a quote from the IGN article, the developer said, quote, we've made a focused effort to ensure that what our players see is the closest representation possible to what Toby Hooper and Kim Hankel brought to viewers on the big screen. And then we expand upon the world in a way that honors and builds on what already exists. We are giving our players the experience of what it would be like for them to step into the shoes of one of the Slaughter family or their victims and see how they would fare in horrifying situations that are every bit as compelling and entertaining a story as what happened to Sally and her friends in the original film. Now, thanks to Zach Donato, a difference was spotted between the movie and game footage that probably comes as a result of the gameplay mechanics. Notice in this side-by-side -side comparison that there is a very clear light switch on the game version that is not seen in the original film. Since we already know that turning the lights on and off will be crucial for stealth gameplay, this light switch was added to incorporate that mechanic. A pretty neat detail that I didn't notice before, so again, thanks for Zach for pointing that one out for me. Now, that said, let me know your thoughts on this new trailer in the comments below, but that's going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more updates like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.